an email came to me, and I think maybe Nancy sent it over to me, that said there was going to be a Camp Wellstone. And I think the suggestion was maybe we should go check it out. You know, there was a community organizer's track, that's what I did, and there was a campaign management track, and there was this candidate's track. And I can't remember exactly where in that process I decided to go into the candidate's track, but it was not because I knew that's what I wanted to do or had decided that's what I was going to do. In fact, it wasn't. But there was more to it, and so it seemed to me that that's where I needed to be. And I can remember some of you may have had the same experience that first time around in the candidate's track when they ask you to raise your hand if you know that you're going to run and what you're going to run for. There were people in our group who knew. Tim Wall, Ralph Richardson, Jeremy Kalin, he'd done it twice, you know. Elizabeth Lynn, Diane Hofstad, I mean, Andrew Marine. I mean, it was an amazing group. But I wasn't there yet. And it may be that I just hadn't felt the confidence or understood what was required. You know, I don't know. But what happened in that Camp Wellstone is what made it possible for me to then decide to run and then to run. And there were three or four things that were quite important about that camp for me. One of them was that for Nancy and I, we got a real, I think, sober look at what it would take to run for office. This is really important in relationships because there's a lot of, well, to politics, to running for office, to community organizing. Sometimes it's contact sports. Sometimes it's blood sports. It's certainly long days. I never even thought about the fact that we might need a family budget if I was running. I mean, you know, it just never dawned on me that we might have to think about that. But there was so much to us doing it together and having a realistic view that then helped sustain us in the course of running. This was really important. Another thing was the kind of emphasis on being clear about the values. Because in the camp, there was a reminder that we had to know our history. We had Paul as an individual, but also the history of the movements and the people that Paul had been part of. But that history was part of saying one of our values is knowing where we're coming from, where we've been. But also that value about the common good, which was a part of a vision where are we going to go? What are we going to do? Another part of that value was knowing who we were as people and being able to say that with pride, but to say it in a way that expressed our humanity and our connectedness to everyone else. But the other thing about the camp was that it gave enough skills and skill practice. You know, yes, it was my first stump speech. I got to watch the first stump speech for Tim Wall, for Andy Murray, you know, for Ralph Rumpf, you know, I mean. But the other skills, the door knocking, the role play that we did, all those things began to transform me from not just sort of not having thought about this, but also feeling some confidence about doing it. And then finally, it created a community, a group of us that then I think all kind of jumped in together. There were leaders in that group, Tim and others, who knew what they wanted to do. But we've also been able to then stay together and to support each other and be part of an ongoing kind of alumni group and to really help each other to be there when new babies are born and to be there when other things have happened and to be there when political times were tough or our campaign was falling apart or our lives were falling apart. And so out of that little weekend, that very cold weekend, I was able to then say at the end of that weekend, yes, I'm going to run for office. I'm going to run for Secretary of State. A lot of other things have happened in the course of that campaign. And a lot of things have happened since I got elected. But, you know, those are things that I was prepared for in one way by Camp Wellstone. But more importantly, Camp Wellstone put me into a community of people who then were there for me. Every day I get some very, very wonderful notes from people, some very supportive notes. And 
and every day I get some really ugly numbers. <laughs> On the days that the death threats arrive, or the days that my staff have been really verbally abused, we're also able to draw on the, the love and the faith and the trust and the expressions of hope that people have been able to share. And part of that is, you know, being nested with a broader community here in Minnesota. You know, it's why I live here. It's why a bunch of us live here. But it's also because Camp Wellstone brings out that ability of people to express when it is really needed the kind of faith and hope and love that makes a difference to keep people going, whether it's in your personal life or in your political life or your work life or whatever. And so for me, that little cold weekend uh, has had a lot of ramifications. And I assume that for many of you here, if not all of you here this weekend, if you're here as a camper, or for those of you who are alumni who are here, um, that you, you will have that same experience, you'll have that same possibility. But I have one other thing that I want to say about this, because uh, why I'm most thrilled about Camp Wellstone and Wellstone Action um, doesn't have anything to do with what it's made me able to do. It has to do with I have incredible, calm confidence about the moment that it's time for me to step off the stage, because somebody in here or several somebody's in here are going to be there to take the stage. It's the ability to say that the handing off of the baton, and I want to speak to the older people like me for a moment. <laughs> Part of how we will be judged will be what we've been able to build and do. It'll be how we do in handing off the baton. There are people who enter political life and organizing life very young and are able to do it until they're very old. And that's good. But in some parts of our political life, the thing that we need to be best at is our ability to stand and to move and to turn around and hand the baton and to be a supporting force as the baton is passed and then to be there for the other opportunities and the other demands. Camp Wellstone means that there's a huge community. I don't know how many thousands. Jeff could tell us how many thousands. But there's a huge community of people there and ready to take the baton and to take this board. That's the most important thing about Camp Wellstone for me as I look into the future. I want to thank all the staff and the people who keep Wellstone Action and the camp going, the trainers, the people who helped me get to where I am. But I want to thank those of you who are campers and alum uh, for really creating a political community that gives us all this possibility of making change right now, but the real chance, which is to make change really for times we shall never see. Thank you very much, Jeff.